Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be going over um, overall market analysis and uh, what to look out for next week and the best setups for next week. So, um, yeah, as usual, we'll start off with the indices. We'll take a look at SPY first. Um, yeah, so the S&P 500 has been acting really, really well recently, right? Really nice uptrend since last October. And uh, yeah, we've been holding this rally, or we've been making a pretty nice rally so far. And uh, we started to get a little bit extended last week. And since then, we've been putting in a bunch of consolidation bars, which is good action. Um, so yeah, overall, really, really good action from the SPY. And uh, so there is resistance at that 430, 431 level. That's where we got rejected last time we rallied. So that is a key level to watch out for. But Overall, this is looking really healthy. Um, so yeah, uh, it would be normal if we did pull back to this trend line. Um, but as long as this trend line holds up, then I would say that um, we would continue to be in this uptrend and continue to be bullish until we lose this trend. So um, yeah, overall, really good action. Let's take a look at the weekly chart real quick. So yeah, on the weekly, again, you can see clear resistance at that 430, 431 level. But if we can take that level out, next uh, target would be 4, 453. So uh, definitely a lot of room to the upside. But again, you want to wait for some consolidation. And hopefully uh, we can go sideways for a week or two or we could pull back. But as long as we're holding this uptrend, uh, that's all that matters. Now we'll take a look at QQQ. So QQQ, same thing, right? Except this one's a lot more extended. Look at the distance from price to the trend line versus, uh, like last time we got that extended was here, right? We got we had a one, two, three, four, five weeks up in a row. We got extended and we pulled back to the trend line. And then uh, here we got three weeks in a row and then we pulled back to the trend line. Now we're getting very extended again. So there's a good chance we could pull back to the trend line or just go sideways until the trend line catches up. So that's what we want to watch out for. So definitely don't get too long right now because we are, we definitely are too we definitely are extended. So you want to be patient, wait for pullbacks, and try to uh, time your buys that way. Um, but overall, QQQ is very very strong, right? It's definitely extended here, and it's been putting a lot of consolidation, and it hasn't pulled back in too hard. On Thursday or on uh, Wednesday, it did pull back pretty hard, but we bounced the. Uh, back on thursday and friday but you know overall really good action if we can continue those uh if we can continue to go sideways that would be um ideal now we'll take a look at some of the big cap tech stocks start off with uh apple we'll take a look at the weeklies on all of these so apple looks really good right um it got back it made new all-time highs last week and uh yeah, right now it's still trying to hold up above the 181 level, but if Apple can consolidate and uh, uh, one sec, if Apple can continue to consolidate, that would be healthy action. But yeah, Apple is definitely holding this uptrend really well, but uh, uh, it did make a pretty pretty big move this year, so. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we just went sideways for a couple of months even. So just be prepared for that scenario as well. Take a look at Amazon. Amazon um, is also, what, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, six weeks up in a row. Six green uh, weekly candles at least. But yeah, this 125 is key resistance level. Well, if we can take that out, then the next target would be around the... Uh, that 139 level and then after that it would just be back to 146 and then 169 168.5 ish but yeah those are the key levels for amazon and yeah amazon's also acting pretty well here but uh yeah 125 is the major resistance level for amazon uh, let's take a look at google so google is setting up pretty nicely here right they had three strong weeks in a row and then it's now finally consolidating here tried to hit that 129 level but it uh 
didn't hit it almost, but it got close to it and then it rejected. So uh, more consolidation would be perfectly normal as long as this 119 level is holding. I would say Google is still definitely bullish. Um, but yeah, more weeks of consolidation wouldn't be a bad thing since we did make a pretty strong move from this breakout level. Um, yeah, overall, pretty good action from Google. Next up, we'll take a look at Meta. So Meta is another name that's been acting incredibly well all year long, right? Look at that rally from the lows. Now it's went from 90-ish to 276. So that's a almost 200% gain. So pretty insane move from a big cap, right? But Meta is uh, acting incredibly well. It's building a little flag here now. So more sideways would be good. Because we did make such a big move, so I wouldn't be surprised again if we just went sideways for a couple months and then make a move higher. But overall, really good action from Meta as well. Um, yeah, as long as that 256 level holds, uh, definitely continue to be bullish on Meta. Next up, Microsoft. Microsoft also had a really nice rally, like Apple from the lows. Um, this one is uh, starting to form a little flag here right so if it can go sideways for a bit longer and just rest and uh, as long as it holds that 315 support level um, that would be completely normal uh, as long as Microsoft holds that 315 any pullback would be completely normal for Microsoft but overall really good action once again um, but yeah if, if it can consolidate for a few weeks more and then break out again then next target would be all-time highs or 345 first and then all-time highs <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at Netflix. So Netflix is also ha or had a really good week as well. And now it's approaching a pretty significant resistance level. So that 420 level is a yeah, pretty important level. So I'm expecting Netflix to consolidate and uh, form a flag right below that 420 level. And then after a few weeks of sideways consolidation, then uh, we could potentially see the next leg up. But yeah, Netflix has been holding a really nice uptrend all year long um yeah good action from netflix as well and nvidia let's take a look at the weekly chart for nvidia i mean daily chart so nvidia had a very strong gap up on earnings as everyone knows but now it's starting to form a pretty a pretty nice flag here so it's getting pretty tight now and uh i would expect the breakout to happen in either direction pretty soon but if we do lose those gap up lows, so 366, there's a good chance that NVIDIA could fall quite a bit. So that would actually be a pretty good short play if that did happen. But right now, I would say NVIDIA is holding up pretty well considering how much it gapped up. But yeah, really good action from NVIDIA. And the more sideways consolidation wouldn't be a bad thing, but it's getting pretty tight. So I would expect the move to uh, happen soon. Okay, let's look at Tesla. Tesla is getting really, really extended, right? Look at that move, right? It's pretty much completely, uh, just goes higher and higher for like the last couple of weeks. But yeah, Tesla is definitely very extended now. So you want to see it pull back to this 234 level, consolidate for quite some time, or consolidate for like a couple of weeks because it just made such a big move, right? So you want it to consolidate, let it tighten up, and then potentially next leg up. But right now, Tesla's, Tesla had a really nice move, but now it definitely needs some rest. Um, yeah. You just want to make sure that it can hold that 234 level. And if it does, I would continue to be bullish on it. Um, but yeah, Tesla is acting really, really well as well. Uh, let's take a look at AMD. AMD is building a pretty nice bull flag on the weekly chart here. Uh, let's take a look at the daily. So while a lot of stocks were not doing so great on Friday, AMD uh, was able to cap up. Not a strong close, but um, yeah, still holding up really, really well. And it tried to lose, or there were many times where it tried to lose like the 117 level, but it's been holding up really well. And bulls are definitely holding the stock up really well. So uh, definitely a lot of institutions supporting the stock and uh, overall really good action. If we can break that bull flag, then next target would be, uh, there's some resistance around that 147 level, and then it would just be all back to all time highs. But yeah, AMD looks really, really, really good here. Um, yeah, I really like that weekly bull flag setup, but 
um, yeah, really good action from AMD as well. Okay, now let's take a look at your KK. So this is growth stocks, right? So growth stocks have been doing pretty well the last couple weeks. So your KK had one, two, three, four, five, six up weeks in a row. So that's really good action. Um, let's take a look at the daily chart. So yeah, there's definitely some resistance around the 43 level, and it started to get a little bit extended. But if we can consolidate, pull back to that trend line, uh, that would be perfectly healthy action but as long as as long as we hold that trend line then i would continue to be bullish on it but yeah right now perfectly healthy action um your kk does trade very choppy so i wouldn't recommend trading it but overall really good action from growth uh we'll take a look at some of the um best setups for the coming week so ai is ai is something that everyone's watching right ai is the new theme of the market and it's moving a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of names, and it's making pretty pretty explosive moves on big volume. So AI is like the major one, right? It literally has this uh, ticker symbol AI. Uh, I know that doesn't matter, but <clears throat> uh, when there's uh, when there's pumps uh, like GME in 2020 and 2021, it doesn't matter if it's a shit stock as long as a lot of people are pouring their money into it. It can make explosive moves. AI could be one of those. Uh, movers for 2023. I'm not saying AI is a shit stuff, but uh, there's definitely a lot of hype around it. So definitely keep an eye on this one. Um, so there is a little flag starting to form here. Definitely needs to tighten up a lot more, but uh, more sideways consolidation, and then this one could continue breaking out a lot, a lot more. Let's take a look at the weekly chart again. Yeah, so next resistance level for AI would be around the, the 45 level. So from current price, that would be a pretty good move. And then after that, no real resistance until 65 and 73. And just keep note that this, when it IPO'd, it hit 183. So this one definitely has a lot of potential and a lot of <clears throat> room to the upside, but um, yeah, definitely keep your eye on this one. Uh, let's take a look at Carvana. This one had a huge move on uh, Thursday, last Thursday, and it had a really big. It had tons of volume. I think that's 175 million volume volume on that day. So that's insane, right? So this is another one that can continue to squeeze. Had a lot of shorts. Um, um, I mean, has a lot of short interest, so this one can continue squeezing higher. So this one's definitely on the radar. Um, it already made such a big move from lows. It went from three dollars to what twenty six on Thursday. So definitely a lot of potential on this one, and I'm gonna continue monitor monitoring it if I can find a good risk reward um, spot to enter. And uh, yeah, this would definitely be uh, a name to watch uh, for a squeeze. All right, next up, GitLab. This one had a really strong earnings report, and now it's consolidating nicely here. Um, so it does have some resistance at that 50 level, and there's also a little flag forming here. So let's see if we can take that out next week, but um, gap ups have been acting pretty, pretty strong in the market recently, so this one can definitely continue powering higher. And if it does break 50, then the next target would be 54. Uh, but yeah, this one's definitely one that you want to keep your watch on. It's also a recent IPO, and look at that weekly volume, right? That's a sign that institutions are buying up into the stock. But yeah, overall, really good action from GitLab. IONQ, this one's acting really, really well recently. So it's starting to build a flag here. This is like a textbook full flag, right? Let me remove these smaller ones. Let me just remove everything on set. So this one made a big move, right? It went from five dollars to eleven point six five, so that's a hundred sixteen percent move. And now it's going sideways. So if this bull flag breaks, then it can continue powering up and make another leg up. And look at the volume, right? This is definitely a sign that institutions have been buying up into the stock. Look at the volume before and look at the volume now. There's definitely something going on in the stock, and you want to be paying attention to it. This is one that I think can easily double or even triple. So yeah, definitely keeping an eye on this one. 
And then we'll take a look at Palantir. So Palantir is also acting incredibly well. This one's just been going up, 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 up and up. And uh, it, it got really extended on Wednesday and then pulled back in pretty hard. But overall, still really good action. So I would say resistance level is around that 15.75. And support level is at that 14.15. Uh, um, but those are the key levels for Palantir, so if it can consolidate for a bit longer and then break that 15.75 level, then I'll be looking for another leg up. Okay, we'll do uh, Upstart. Upstart, this one also, same like Palantir, it's just been going higher and higher. And uh, really nice volume. Look at the volume before and look at the volume now, right? Something's definitely going on into this stock, but this one's acting incredibly well. Uh, this one's a fast mover, so definitely keep it on watch. But yeah, right now it's just acting incredibly well. And I think it can continue to power higher for next week. And this one is so beaten down that it has so much potential, right? Super, super beaten down. So this one can easily double or triple in a short period of time. So definitely keeping it on watch. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.